but if there is any chance that history can be changed. G'day g'day and welcome back to Chusengura. Now where we last left off, Sugaha was being a bit of a crybaby. I guess he feels a bit attached to the Chamberlain, but if I was in his position, I'd probably go to Akko and do as the Chamberlain said. Because you might actually get back to your own world that way. Could happen. But it came out of nowhere, really. Is he still crying, though? Either way, let's just carry on and get on with this. Sugaha, please understand. He's silent now. I couldn't even respond to that question. But all I understood was that there is no way I can get her to change her mind. Listen, when you arrive at Akko and meet up with Shogun, tell her about our success and... And tell her not to seek death so soon. Tell her that these are my Kurunosuke's words. You might want to listen this time, Suga. Oh, why are you still crying? Because he's a bit of a crybaby, I think. That's just my guess. Stop crying now, alright? Otherwise, you will cry away your handsome face. Chamberlain. But, I... The Chamberlain touched my cheeks gently. Slap! And wiped away my tears. Sugaha, you are such a kind man. That is why I want you to live to the fullest as a good and decent person. And, and be strong. Wherever I go, I will always be praying for your happiness. Chamberlain? Farewell, Sugaha. Those words. Those were the last words between the Chamberlain and me. Are we talking past tense? Are you in the future talking about this? Who are you t telling this story to? December 5th, 15th year of the Genroku era. Torino Koku, 5pm. Given name, Terasaka Kichiemon. Who's that? Also known as Fukami Sugaha. Well, there we go. My question was answered. Didn't have to wait long. Left Sengakuji Temple. Then what? December 30th. The music stopped. Since the day I left the Chamberlain and the Sengakuji temple behind, my memory about everything started to get very blurry. The only thing I know is that after many dusks of sadness and many lonely nights, I finally arrived in Akko. Here it is. Tranquil. Calm. Serene. I have no idea what to do now. The farming region of the Akko Domain. It must be off season for farming since everything looks so dreary. Hmm? Question mark? Oh, Shogun. I think I gave you a similar voice to the Chamberlain. Suga. Akuno? It has been a long time. 
Yes, it has. I see. You are the one who... You are the one who came. Huh? What do you mean, I am the one? Well, I meant to be someone else. Anyways, you must be very tired from the long journey. Please, come in. It's a bit tight, though. Ah, yes. Um... It is a little strange. Depends what you mean by a strange. When she saw me, her expression changed a bit, but she didn't seem surprised at all. It was if she was expecting me to visit her. And... The answer will be revealed soon. You... Dragging it out, bitch, Sugaha. Gonna say yanking the chain a bit, but I don't know if that works. You really became a farmer? Um, yes. Anyways, how did you enter Akko? Uh, walked. Use me legs. Well, I pretended to be a merchant and used a fake name. Oh, right. Well, that works too. So, I am guessing from the fact that you are here, that the revenge went successfully. Yes? Guess so. How do you know that? Sorry, I don't mean to surprise you. Uh, Akuno? Well, I guess we have loads of time, so there is no need to rush. I'll explain everything to you. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Did I read that already? Uh, yes. Azumika, what I'm about to tell you must not be repeated to anyone else. Is that understood? I understand. Gonna say something, lost it. Cannot be repeated. I wonder what she was going to tell me. Kurosuke and I had made previous plans for the revenge. The first one was that no matter the outcome, send someone back to Akko to tell me about it. So that person could tell you the outcome of the re 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 revenge. Why is that necessary? If the first revenge was not successful, we had a plan for a second one. A second? Guess. Attack! Are you trying to tell me that the incident at the Corridor of the Pines was a Shogunate conspiracy? Yeah, they got the same voice, I think. I'm not 100% certain, but from what I heard from Suha and the people of Edo, it seems so. How can that be? Akko is such a small domain. He is about the soul. The soul. The Shogunat are currently preparing massive amounts of salt for military use. But unfortunately the Shogunat are suffering financial difficulties and they don't have the money to purchase salt. That's where Akko salt comes into, into the picture. Why? So let me get this straight. They manipulated our lord to draw her sword and start a fight just for salt? Well, it seems so. If that's what you're saying, that seems to be the case. Yes. I can't believe this. Neither can I. Or I could. Because that's what happened. Then that means you are saying that Kira helped the Shogunate in this scheme. I am not sure. I find as you know is that Mr. Kira was the Koke Rita for that year. The Shogunate could use that, have used him for that reason. However, 
The idea couldn't possibly have come from the Shogun. Tsune Yoshi himself. It is likely the only person that could be responsible is the Lord Chamberlain, Yanakisawa Yoshiyasu. The same name. But there are no proofs, right? There's no evidence, is there? Indeed, there is no proof, but soon after the Asno family left Aka, Mr. Nagai, now Hiro, and Karasuyama Domain in Shim Shimotsuke province was appointed ruler of Aka. There are rumors that Mr. Nagai is quite close to Mr. Yanagazawa. If that is true, Mr. Yanagazawa will be able to purchase as much salt as he wishes. So you think it is all connected? This could be as though they're just talking to themselves, really, so I'm using the same voice, or very similar voices. So it could be just one person just going back and forth in their own head. And there's no need to kill Kira then. No, we must take Kira's head, no matter who has, was behind this whole scheme. It is still Kira's fault that our late lord was forced to suffer him in shame. But you will proceed with the revenge anyways, I suppose. Yes, but I will change the plan of action once Cousin Hanasuke is dead. Change the plan? I will allow the Shogunate to decide our fate after the raid. What? They will not suffer you in front of late Lord's grave. That is right. If the conspiracy is true, then killing ourselves in front of our Lord will only benefit the Shogunate. You are right. But Kuranasuke... Don't you think that the Shogun that will do whatever they can to bury the truth and keep it hidden? So they might increase security for Kira's estate. That is why we need Plan B. Wait, shouldn't this be in black and white because it's a memory? Plan B... Plan A will... be to go after Kira with the servants that refuse to take back their pledges. If the outcome is a success, that will be the end of it. But if it fails, we will get Kira with Plan B. Yes. In that case, I would like to lead to lead Plan B. Plan B. I would like you to lead Plan B. Shock. Me lead the Plan B. Yes. Wait a second. No, it's okay. I have no intention of taking my pledge back either, so why must I leave Plan B? I understand your concern, but once we have moved to enact our revenge, we have to ensure that we take Kira's head, which is why I intend to fabricate an absolutely foolproof plan. Whatever you reckon. But the battlefield is a place where unexpected things can happen. Always happen. Think of this as a necessary measure in case of the unthinkable. Well then, you, Kurosuke, should lead the backup plan. I'll lead the first attack. No, we can't do that. Music stopped. If I, Kurosuke, do not participate in the first raid, our comrades' morale will surely wane. That is why. That is why I am the backup plan. It isn't fair. Why me? Why me? I am sorry, but as you will be leading plan B, I will need to take back your pledge. This might be... This might put you in a difficult situation, as people may talk and criticise you behind your back. But I know that you are someone who can handle the abuse and have the patience to wait. And on top of that, you, Shogun, are the only one with the skill to lead an army. So please, this is the way of it. What is okay? And we're back, I believe. The music's back, though. I never knew that. But now you do. That is why, as soon as I returned to Vaco, I disguised myself as a farmer, waiting for the message from Edo. And Sugaha, you arrived. As soon as I saw you, I knew it was successful. We also decided this together with Kurinsuke. I see. There was another plan for the attack. 
And the second plan was to be led by Okuno. It may sound like a crazy idea, but I can understand how calm and realistic the Chamberlain was when she chose to do this. What's more, just as I expected, the Chamberlain had everything planned from the beginning to keep me alive, even after the raid. I'm so sorry. Why? What for? I'm so sorry I was so rude to you without knowing any of this. No problem. I just pro it just proves I did well enough to fool even my allies. But now we don't need a plan B anymore. My battlefield has been stolen from me. Tsuruha, so we definitely got the head of Mr. Kira. Yes? I believe we did. The head was cut by the Chamberlain herself. Defend, which Kira? Did we lose anyone? Or was anyone seriously injured? Just small injuries, but we didn't lose anyone. Until they all have the seppuku later. So you could say that we've lost everyone. That is wonderful. They are really real samurai of Akko. Um, Akuno. If you were to proceed with plan B, how would you go through with it? What would the plan B? Ha! Huh. Funny. We would attack Kira while he is travelling to Yonazawa. Oh. Oh, is that so? So, uh, what are Kurosuke and the others doing? Has the Shogunate made the decision to take the sentence? No, not yet. I left them at Sengakuji Temple, so I don't know what has happened after that. I see. But whatever happens, I am sure they will not be acquitted. But, th but they succeeded. Oh, but they succeeded. Well done. I am sure our late lord will be very happy. I am sure she will be pleased as well. So, what are your plans now, Sugaha? You are more than welcome to stay here for a while. Do you have any idea of what you want to do or where you want to go? Yes? You know now? I'll go back to Edo. Edo? What will, you, what will you do there? I'll wait for the Chamberlain. Sugaha? I don't know if that's gonna work. I understand how you feel about the Chamberlain and the others. Even so, if there is the slightest possibility that the Chamberlain will not die, I will go there and wait. Yes? Since the day I left Sangakuji Temple, I have come to a decision after thinking it through all of those lonely nights. I need a drink. That's what I decided. That's better. Then I would return to Edo after conveying to Okuno the results of the raid. It's not like I can do anything to help any of them. Most likely all the comrades have already been detained by the Shogunate. It is impossible for me to help them escape. But if there is any chance that history can be changed. Somehow because of my existence in this world. Maybe the Chamberlain and the comrades will be dismissed and forgiven. Slim hopes there. Maybe I just wanted to cling on to this last hope. But what if... What if there is no hope? But what will you do when that hope ends? Oh, was I saying that out loud? Sorry about that, that happens a lot. I don't know. Didn't think that far. Don't think these things through. It's another thing I do often. Do not lie to me. That was a lie? You intend to do Seppuku too, don't you? No. I guess you... I guess you will do the same, Akuno. Huh? What are you talking about? Haha. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I knew it. The Chamberlain is very clever. <laughs> the Chamberlain knew. She told me to tell you the, of the raid's success, and that you would likely seppuku when you heard the news. This is why she entrusted this message to me. 
Don't die too soon. That is the personal message from the Chamberlain to you, Akuno. Are you sure? Is he sure? I'm not sure if he's sure. Don't die too soon. Did Kurosuke say those words? Yes, she did. Kurosuke, putting others before herself to the very end. But I can't accept that. I will make you? Luga, Kurosuke and the rest have cut open their stomachs already. Are you telling me to live with the shame of not following them? Yes? Luga. Akuna? Somebody has to tell the story to the generations to come. The story of Ohishi Kurosuke. And the truly brave Akko Ronins that existed. Someone has to pass this tale down to the future generations after us. Are you asking me to do that? Sounds like it. Yes. I believe that is the reason why the Chamberlain had left this message for you. Akuno, you will be the one responsible for passing the true story on to the future. I am actually surprised at myself saying such a thing. Yeah. But I have learnt so much through everything that has happened. People dying for the honour of their lord. People choosing the lives of their families over their honour. There is no right or wrong choice. I am not the one to decide that. What? Any choice is a difficult one. Difficult choice? Did I say that out loud again? Don't you think so? If you choose to avenge your lord, you will lose your life. If you choose not to fight, you get to live. But you will lose your samurai's honour. The honour of a samurai. That is what I have learnt from all this. The difficulty of choosing death. But also the difficulty of choosing life. Akuno, that is why you must live. I believe that you have the strength to live through the difficulties in life. Are you really living now? At least stay in Akko until the new year. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. But the chain plan is waiting for me. Tsukuya, I must ask you again. Once the Sefuku sentence has been determined for all the Ronin, what will you do? If you'd like, you're very welcome to come back here. Thank you for your kindness. But I must reject it. But I belong. I belong with Ohishi Kurosuke. I understand. Kurosuke is truly one lucky person. Huh? To have such a loyal servant as yourself, she is truly lucky. Kuno. Then I guess this is it. I wish you all the best, Sugaha. Thank you. And to you too, Okuno. Thank you. Oh, she's crying. I didn't notice that. I was busy reading. At that point, I saw tears flowing from Okuno's eyes. Even knowing that we were pining for this... We were pining for this life. She sent me off with a smile on her face. Having carried out my mission from the Chamberlain... I started on my journey back to Edo on the Tokaido Road, believing in the slightest chance of miracles to be able to see the Chamberlain's face once again. But I knew in my heart that reality is not so sweet. By the time I arrived at Edo, I had used up all my money and I had no one to rely on. There was no choice but to live on the streets. I would never have imagined that I would be homeless in this world. I haven't had a proper meal in days. If this carries on, I might die before seeing the Chamberlain. <laughs> Scream, what? S sorry, I beg your pardon. Oh, it's fine. I think that's the other one. Are you alright? Oh, yes. I am alright. 
The music's gone, but I'm fine. Uh, huh? You wouldn't be by any chance, Suga, huh? Uh, Lady Aguri? I think we got a bit more to go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. What am I crunching on? Much, much, much. Oh, I'm eating. Well, good to know that he's satisfied. Oh dear, Suga, you were really hungry, weren't you? Oh, yes. Famished. I haven't eaten properly for days now. I just so happened to bump into Lady Aguri, and she brought me food at one of the food shops. More gas. Are you sure I can eat everything? Of course, you risk your life fighting for my sister. Please fill your stomach. Sorry. So yeah. Yes? Is that a sorry for eating? Or is it an apology for not telling me the truth about the revenge? What? Uh, it could be both. So tell me, Curtis, so what was the reason you came to visit me? I guess since you were here, it must be about the revenge. Oh yeah, this bit. No, that is not the reason. Actually, today I'm here to tell you that I'm going to serve another daimyo. Is that so? Yeah, that bit. Well, it wasn't Sugar how that lied. To be honest with you, I was very disappointed with Kurosuke that day. I was so sad that Kurosuke would, would avenge my sister one day. You were right. And with that, that's all the time I've got for this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. If you enjoy what I do, why not subscribe? You can also hit the bell icon to keep up to date with my latest videos, and follow me on Twitter at MattTastic1. With that said, thanks for watching, have a fantastic day, and be sure to tune in next time. Cheerio!